everybody can be helped as long as everybody works together, um, both the law enforcement and the local people and the programs that are in our uh, inner cities looking out for our young people. And that's exactly what the Shannon Grants are about. They're bringing the whole community together to look out for those individuals who may have gone down the wrong path for a certain point in their lives, but certainly can be saved. These dollars, went once in your hands, give you additional resources to decide and help break up the cycle of violence in your community. And many of the individuals who find themselves wrapped up in a, in a gang environment don't know anything else. They're born into this. And we have to do our part to help these individuals break out of that cycle and understand that, that there is a safer and better path forward for them. And the communities here in the Commonwealth and the law enforcement community in particular are national leaders with respect to many of these issues. And if you look at our statistics, almost across the board, we're a top 10 player nationally on almost all of them with respect to youth violence, arrest rates, incarceration, uh, and the alternatives that are available to incarceration. And we also, in many cases, lead the country with respect to the approaches that many of you take associated with this program, the SSYI program, and a number of other shared programs that we operate. Part of the reason why Secretary Bennett and Lieutenant Governor Polito spoke about the positive elements associated with this particular program is because this is the kind of program that we know makes a difference and can change lives and help improve opportunity uh, for kids and families across Massachusetts. In 2017, the Sharon, Sharon Grant provided over 4,000 youth with direct services through education, employment, after school activities, safe havens, mentoring, case management, and mental health services. Since its inception in 2006, we have seen a 16% decrease in homicides in the city, a 9% decrease in aggravated assaults, and a 10% decrease in total violent crime. The whole premise of the Shannon Grant is that it's no one approach or one agency that's gonna solve all the problems. It's a comprehensive, multidisciplinary approach that utilizes collaboration and coordination, both locally and statewide. I was raised in New Bedford and I was, in gang, and I was involved in gang violence. Um, I lost a few friends to gang violence. I started to attend an alternate school in the city, also known as uh, Resilience Preparatory Academy, also known as RPA. I slow to buy into the Shannon at first. I am now happy to be a part of it. My behaviors and academics have improved and at one point, I have attended school for four straight months, but now I'm working with the Shannon program with the Shannon staff and Youth Connections to develop work readiness skills and make myself more employable. I feel that I became a leader in RPA and my future is bright.